First, I watched the news. Disney, Universal, Legoland, and SeaWorld closed? This is serious. No, actually what got me was the shift in the spaghetti graph, which started out like this, and shifted to the west like this, where Irma could possibly head straight towards Tampa. So I wake up the parents, tell them we should go. Yeah, I live with my parents currently. That's another story. I pack my bags, get my badass travel toothbrush charger case with USB cord. Highly recommended. Clothes. And most importantly, my cameras, drone, laptop, tripod, etc. Dad yells some, or a lot. I grab Jimmy, and we're off. The plan is to head to our old Kentucky home. Probably hit up Mama and Papa. It's Grandma and Grandpa in country terms. Probably stay there at night, then head to my sister and fam's for however long. Our first gas stop, we wait in line for 10 minutes, but the bathroom line for 15. And it was so filthy, I'm just gonna block out the rest of that memory. Back on the road again, somewhere around the Florida Georgia line, and I'm dead tired. It's like 4 a.m., I never went to sleep, and I'm like, Dad, let's get a hotel. He's like, there are none. And I'm like, yeah, there are. And he's like, okay. So, I call a hotel located right after you enter Georgia. I call another, and another, and another, and another, and everything is booked. All the way to Atlanta, I'm a little let down. I pass out, wake up, and oh, it's like bright out. Great work, Dad. We're still alive, and I managed to stay asleep till our next rest stop. Hit up that TNA. TA is a gas station. With great bathroom lighting, okay. Help Jimmy into the car because he's feeling lazy. Get back to riding with the rest of these crazies. Find a breakfast joint. Let Jimmy get some fresh air. Get laced up. Eat some tasty French toast at Blue Tick Mercantile Company. We get back in the car, drive through Georgia, go through some traffic, take a pee break, find friends on the road, sing along with the fam, listen to my own tunes, stare at how cute Jimmy is, take a nap. Rest stop where Jimmy pees or maybe he just sniffs things. No peeing for us because there was a problem with the bathrooms and they cut off the water. W-T-F. Actual pee break and only pee break because I would never eat here. Ugh. Then we drive more, say hi to Marty, take a pee break again, grab some lunch, bird feed the dog. He's so smart because he won't eat or drink whenever we go on road trips because I think he doesn't want to have to go while we're driving. But he can't resist apple slicers. Hit up Tennessee, text my girls, alpha love, get my pillow stolen, post on Instagram. What happened? Oh, sorry, I fell asleep again. Then I eat a snack, contemplate life, eat another snack. Wow, I'm bored. But what else is there to do? Right. And the last pit stop? I didn't get a shot of it, but an evacuee's loved here sign was accompanied with friendly faces and water and things. <laughs> so beautiful. We get back in the car, check out them hills in the golden hour, check out Jim in the golden hour, and then... Breer, Kentucky. And my mom and pop's house! And after 17 hours, which would normally take 12, we've made it. We've made it, people! Thank you! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Oh. Yo, get out of that snack bag! Freaking window. Huh? It's the second time you almost crushed my arm.